All right, this is Mr. Zeidemo again. Today we're talking about Wii Video and some of the problems that uh, we have on s some programs and how you can be a problem solver. We are working online on these new programs. These are called Web 2.0 programs. And Wii Video is one of those that deals with videos. And so I've made a video here. And my last slide is Boat Time, Muskegon, Michigan, August 15 through 18. My question is, I go down here and I work on this thing called the narration. And I click on it and it doesn't work. Okay, voiceover. It doesn't work. For some reason, it just has a glitch in the program. So my question is, as a person that can problem solve, I have to come up with a different way to do this narration. And let me show you that today. In our computers, there is something, a program called QuickTime Player. I found that up in my spotlight. So I'm going to open up QuickTime Player. I know it's open because I clicked it up here. And I'm going to go File, New Audio Recording. And here's my auto audio recording. So I'm going to click this and record my uh, little saying. Boat time, Muskegon, Michigan, August 15 through 18. Hope to see you there. Okay, now it's going to finish it. Now, that's a program on my computer. So I know that I have to go somewhere to save it. So I'm going to say file and export. And I'm just going to say, well, I'm going to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to say boat time. And I'm going to export it there. Okay, and it quickly exported it. So I've used QuickTime Player to record my audio. Now I'm going to go to the audio in Wii Video, and I'm going to upload my media. I'm going to browse for it. And basically, I have to upload that boat time little saying, there it is, okay, into Wii Video. So I'll click on it. Um, I have to find it here a sec. There it is. And say open. And now what go that's going to do is going to put it up into my boat time type of thing. So when I go back into my timeline, okay, I can then go to my audio files, and my audio files will eventually say boat time here, and I'll pull it down into that voiceover. So I've recorded an audio, uploaded it to eVideo, and then brought it back once it's ready for me, brought it into my timeline so that I can see it. So if your voiceover doesn't work, if you click on this and it doesn't seem to work, we can problem solve that by using what is called the QuickTime Player. Everybody say bye.